On this video, we're going to cover quickly how do filters and multiple filters work. So when you have a very large list of items, that's not our case here, uh, you can have filters for the total amount of data that you have on your tab or for something more specific. So as you can see here, we're looking at our profiles tab. If I go to my data, this is what I'm looking at. Now I have several values here that I can filter. The important thing is make sure that you set up your filter the best way. So there are two ways of setting up a filter. The easiest way is you go here to features and then use the in-app filter. Now with this in-app filter, you'll get a funnel on the top of your app, on your top right screen. If you click this, in this case, I'm using the in-app filter to filter by users when they are either a doctor or a patient. Now this filter works for everybody, right? It's not linked to the user profile, to the user who's navigating through your app in any way. Anybody can use that. By default, it's by all. And then the more values that you have, uh, you can even select several types of filters. There is also another way to filter your data, which is using the groups. So you can group by, in this case, let's use the gender, right? So we can group by males and females. Now this data is coming, of course, from this column, right? We can also, let's go back to features. We can also add an in-app sort and we can sort by many different values. So we can sort, let's say by name and by gender and by bio. Right. So when you click the funnel, the filter is right now the type, right? Either a doctor or a patient, but you can sort. So when you have lists with prices, when you have lists with addresses, or you want to sort by name, by category, then this is a great way to set up a very easy uh, sorting filter. So we can sort by name from A to Z or the other way around. Uh, so this is a great way to use the sort. So and I'm going to delete all of this. The other way to add filters is here. Now, when you use this filter, you are obviously limiting the item displayed on one of the properties, but this applies for every user. In this case, this funnel, this, this filter that's living in the funnel only applies to me. If you use the filter, so now, we are looking at all. So let's add a filter where we will only show the items when gender is male, right? So it doesn't matter if the user is looking for females. In this case, we will only show for when gender is male. Now, you can use this in different ways. For example, you can show, in this case, gender is gender, right? So this condition is linked to my user. So it will only show users where the gender, their gender, is the same gender as I am. And this is a way, a great way to set up uh, let's say visibility conditions for when, for example, your users at, are looking at, you have consultants and clients or doctors and patients. So in this case, let's say we have a Tinder-like app, right? So we want to show for males, we want to show females. So in this case, the condition would be gender is not the user gender, right? So the gender of these users is not my gender. Now you can see there's a little icon here of a person, right? Because I went all the way down and this is my user. This is linked to any of my conditions, any of my properties. So in this case, because I am a male, so the gender that users whose gender is not male will show up here. 
we can other also add other types of uh, filters. So let's say that you only want to show when name includes the letter A. Or again, you can show when you can have a filter where is that is linked to either is or is not is empty or is not empty so in this case let's choose uh, user profiles that don't have a profile picture so when image is empty we don't have any or actually is not empty there we go so if we go to our data we have one user who doesn't have a picture if we clean this filter you can see that asus2 doesn't have a profile picture right so we can add a filter for when image is not empty so we only want to show users that have a profile picture we can also have the include so let's um, gender includes male for female and male right or we can have doesn't include and then there is new this new uh, condition that is included in so when you have we don't have it in this case but when you have um, maybe we can set it up is included in yeah we don't have any use cases for this if you have a different, if you have a relation pointing to the categories of these users, and these in users are included in the category of doctors or the category of patients or the category of doctors belonging to a certain group, then these new conditions is included or is not included in are great for that. In this case, we don't have any of those. So that's how you set up your filters, either using the in-app filter, the group and the sort, or the filtering here that is very, very powerful.